My name is Dylan Fox and I'm a practicing artist in the UK. I'm 24 years old and currently studying in the last year of my degree. So the 30th of March this year, I will be having top surgery with Dr. Garamoon in Florida. The reason that I'm traveling that far to get this level of invasive surgery is basically because the waiting lists here in the UK have reached points that mean it would severely affect my mental health and my daily life for the next eight months, um, possibly longer. It's been a different time scale or a different this, a different that. So um, I took that choice to, to go to have the control to decide when I want to do this. For me personally, it will mean, well, it will mean two things. It will mean that I don't have to go through another summer wearing like four layers and crushing my chest like for 10 hours a day, which no one really wants to do. And also just the ability to be able to like get up and get in the shower without worrying about like catching a glimpse of this or that in the mirror. Um, I don't. I don't want to wait anymore, like, I just want to kind of get on with my life and do what I want to do and I don't feel like I can do that until I've had this, this um, procedure. I guess it's important to document what the, what's going on because I feel that although yes I've seen things, you know I've seen the documentaries on Channel 4, I've seen things on YouTube and other independent projects, I think more needs to be said about how much you know, care for trans people in the UK is Stone Age because no one's educated or you know, the very few doctors are educated right now on trans healthcare. So there needs to be a shift in the way people think in a broader sense. I'm sat here talking to you right now and someone's waiting for a letter to arrive so that they can carry on living their life. Yeah, my friend Adam has uh, crazily agreed to this uh, project, the other other documentaries I've seen and other, other ways of doing things. Um, a lot of people feel detached from those kind of films when they're watching it. There can be something else, something more honest or more real um, than how things have been shot before. Although this project's not for profit, um, there are still costs of, um, of filming and equipment hire and um, travel, um, you know, all those expenses add up and I don't think it'd be fair for me to just expect someone to do that for, for free or use their own money. Um, we, need, we need to find a way to, to get those funds in place to, to make this project doable. As a thanks for helping us out with our project, we've set up different levels of rewards so um, you'll be able to get something back for what you've put in to help us. If there does happen to be an excess for the project, then that will go straight back into helping people within the community through different charities. Cheers for giving us the time to watch this video. And um, if you have donated, then thanks again. But um, if you can't afford to, to donate or uh, you, you don't have the means to do that right now, that's fine. Um, no matter what happens with donations, this project will go ahead. But if you can like and share um, through Facebook and Tumblr or Twitter or any social media, um, that'll be great because the more um, the more people that watch this, the better because that's what it's about.